Now I gotta ride or die Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS from the Fate of the Furious and as you can see we are using the Benefactor Schlagen GT for this build and this is going to be pretty simple by the looks of it because this Schlagen looks really really close to the Mercedes AMG GTS. Just the base look of it is amazing. It looks so much like the GTS from real life. It is quite unbelievable. And from what I can see from the pictures from the AMG GT from real life and from the Fate of the Furious, we're not really going to have to do much to this car. Give it some black rims, some you know different style rims as well. Um, hopefully we can get the two racing stripes on the front and black out the roof as well. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Everything else is pretty much standard. But now I'm happy that the Schlagen's in the game. It means we can create this build and it makes my job a lot easier. So without any further ado, guys, we're going to crack on and we're going to start with 100% body armor as always. And we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. But a bumper, front bumper, like I said, the front bumper is really good for what we've got at the moment. So um, as you can see, the stock bu bumper has got like that plastic black looking bit through the middle. If we can color code that, then it's going to work. And unfortunately we can't color code it, but the closest we get is this primary extender, which actually works quite well. It's not perfect, but it's better than a stock version of it, so we're going to go with that. For the rear bumper, I doubt we're going to need anything on here because not much changes anyway. Um, and the stock version of this bumper is probably the closest to what we need. Uh, the AMG GT from real life has um, exhaust pipes to the left and the right of the bumper. They're not central like they are on this um, Schlagen. But they still look good enough for me, um, and I think the stock rear bumper is the best option, so we're going to stay stock. Next we've got the chassis, and this is where it's going to change the interior. It's give us give us some race seats, change the dashboard up, give us a roll cage, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a roll cage, and it doesn't have a race interior. But I am going to go with the racing seats, because it is a Fast and the Furious build, obviously, and they're all race cars. So that's my logic. So I'm going to go with the racing seats. For the engine, we're going to go for the level four engine upgrade. Then with the exhausts. Oh, hopefully we can change the position of the exhausts. I don't think we're going to, oh, we can. We get the side exit and that's it. So that's the only relocation of the exhausts is the side, which is unfortunate. I was hoping that we could get it to the left and the right of the bumper and not so central, but we can't. So we are going to have to stay central for the uh, for the exhausts. And because we do have to stay central, I think I'm going to go with a triple rear exhaust. I know it's not like the one from Fate of the Furious, but then again, the stock exhaust isn't like the one from Fate of the Furious. So I'm going to go with a triple just because it fills that gap out a little bit nicer. And I think it looks beastly. So we're going to go with a triple rear exhaust. Obviously, if you don't want to go with that, stay stock. So next, we're going to go to the grill. The grill is an easy one, man. It is going to be this alt grill. Um, like the one from Fate of Furious, you've got the big emblem in the middle with that single chrome line that goes through the middle of it, and this is perfect for that. Then we're going to go to the hood. I don't think we're going to change anything on here because the hood from the Mercedes in Fate of Furious looks completely smooth to me. We just pull up another picture so I can get reference of the hood from a different angle because the angle I've got of this picture of the AMG GTS is very flat. So I need to get a higher up view so we can see if we actually have any hood vents. Mercedes usually have hood vents, just need to confirm it. Right, so from what I can see, the GTS from Fate of Furious does have hood vents and they are very similar to these ones. They are the sports vents, so we're going to get those bad boys. Then that brings us down to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So then we move on to the livery. Hopefully we can get them racing stripes we need the dual black racing stripes straight down the center. And now I'm not holding much hope for it because the only racing stripes we had were the ones to the side and they were white and red. Man, that sucks. Why would they give us this awesome looking car? Obviously giving it to us because it's in Fate of the Furious, but don't give us the right bloody racing stripe option. It is so bizarre and quite irritating because now we're going to have to have this Fate of Furious build with like bloody racing stripes. That is really annoying. So then we've got an option for mirrors. The mirrors we've got at the moment actually look spot on. Um, I know the original ones have indicators in the mirrors. 
Um, but we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, stock. I'm going to assume that that means secondary then. Because then we've got another option which are exactly the same. But they're primary. Um, but it doesn't matter. They're all going to be the same color anyways. So I'm going to go with the primary mirrors. Because we don't want them to change if we get an option to change the roof color. So primary mirrors is the one we're going to go with. Then that brings us down to the respray. The primary color. Now this is kind of like a chrome matte color which is going to be really difficult to get in this game so we are going to go matte um light gray is similar but you know it's, it's not exactly what we need it's really odd this color maybe if we go in the metals yeah baby brush steel brush steel is is that the one we're going to go with i think it might be the one we're going to go with you know because like i said it's like a chrome matte color um, matte, matte light grey or whatever it was, matte grey, I can't remember, matte light grey, yeah matte light grey is the lightest one we've got, it still looks a little bit too dark and there's not that shine on it that we need, um, so if, yeah, if you go into the metals, I think brushed steel is not perfect, but it's be the best colour we've got, so yeah, brushed steel is the one I'm going to go for. So then we do get an option for secondary colour, I'm not sure what this is going to change, so we're just going to jump into metallic. And at the minute it's nautical, no race blue, nautical blue. I don't really know what this is changing. Maybe it will just change the mirrors if I didn't choose the primary colour for the mirrors. Maybe that's what it, oh no, hang on. Is it, no, no, it's literally changing nothing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. Maybe it would change the wing mirrors if I didn't change them to primary colour. Um, but yeah, so we don't need anything for the secondary colour. There's no point even changing it, wasting money. Trim colour I'm just going to skip over as well because I'm assuming this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be like dark steel, black or graphite or whatever. So it's a pretty decent colour as it is. The interior is not a massive deal for me because I don't really play in first person so I don't tend to see it. Obviously if the interior is white you want to change it to like a darker colour so dark steel, black, graphite, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm just going to leave it how it is. And hallelujah we get an option for the roof. Hopefully that means we can change the colour of the roof. So there we go, we've got a secondary colour for the roof. And we've also got a carbon version. And then, you know, different um, contours of the roof as well. And obviously primary, secondary and carbon as well. So the one in the movie does have a black roof. I'm not 100% sure whether it's carbon or not. Um, but it's black nonetheless. And also matches the front part of my bumper as well. Alternatively, you could go with secondary roof. And just go and change the secondary colour to black, you could do that, which I might just jump in and do, let's see how that looks, so there we go, we'll just go choose black for that, and that does look awesome, it looks really good, um, like I said, alternatively you could just go into the roof and you could purchase carbon, it doesn't really look that much different in my opinion, um, but I think the secondary roof actually looks really good with just the black paint, so I think that's the one I'm just going to go with. So then we've got an option for side skirts, we've got this little black trim at the moment, we want to get rid of that if we can. Uh, we don't really want to extend it though. And these all look like extensions. So we're going to stay stock for the skirts. Same for the spoiler. The car in the movie does not have a spoiler. So yes, we are going to go with something. We're going to go with this option, the no spoiler option. Because I didn't even realise it had a little ducktail on there. So no spoiler is the one you want to go for. And you get a nice little addition of the sun strip, which um, you don't get on many cars in GTA. I do like a sun, sun strip, but not on this car. Not on this build, so we're going to say none for that. For the suspension, we are going to go... Are we going to go full race on this? We are going to go... Not full race. We're going to go competition suspension. Transmission, obviously, we'll get the super transmission on this bitch. And then turbo tuning. And then for the wheels. Now, for the wheels, they are classic AMG wheels. Like a star pattern. I'm going to have a little look, and I'll be back with you in just a second. So you go, my dudes. After looking through all the wheel options, the closest ones to the ones we need, in my opinion, are these diamond cut rims. They actually look really, really good. They're the star design, similar to what we need, and like I said, the best option in the game. So that's the ones I'm gonna go with. And obviously, as you can see, my wheels are black at the moment, um, but if you haven't got it purchased, then you need to just go and grab carbon black. And to finish off the build, as always, you are going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go my dudes, as we pull out of LS Customs, you'll see I have transformed this Benefactor Schlagen into the 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS from Fate of Furious. Now, I think this is awesome. It does such a good job, this car, of 
be in the car from Fate of Furious. It is so good. The only thing that it's missing is them racing stripes. It's got everything other than the racing stripes. It's such a shame that Rockstar didn't include them um, in the options, in the livery options for this car. It is unbelievable that they didn't do that because everything else is perfect. You even can black the roof. You know, you can get the hood vents. You can change the grill to the grill we need. It's unbelievable. You can get very similar wheels to the wheels that we need as well. Another downside is obviously the position of the exhaust pipes, but I've already mentioned that. But other than that, it looks awesome. It looks so good. Um, it's just, like I said, I'm just really disappointed that Rockstar haven't included them. Double racing stripes down the center for this car. It is a big shame. But it still works, man. It still does an awesome job as being the AMG from Fate of the Furious. And I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.